In this video, we would like to discuss minimum spanning tree. First, let's introduce the definition of a spanning tree. Spanning tree, this is not an isolated concept. It's a graph or find out the spanning tree of graph. For example, the this is the graph. If I draw here, this is the graph, right? But this is what we talk about, spanning tree. Give a graph, we want to find out uh, a tree cover all the vertex, cover all the vertices, and also connect every vertices without the cycle. This is what we define, right? So let me write it down here. Given a graph, this is what we talk about. Spiny tree. A spiny tree is a tree of a graph. That cover all vertices in the graph, connect all the vertices without cycle. This is what we talk about the definition of a spanning tree. This is not a spanning tree because it's not the whole tree. It have two trees. We want to find a unique tree, connect every vertex, right? It means from any two, choose any two vertices and they are connected. This is also not a good idea. Let's have a cycle. Although it covers every vortex, right? But it's a cycle. This is not good because this is not covered. Then minimum spanning tree, we emphasize minimum more. A given undirect graph G with positive, here we emphasize undirect graph with positive weight edge weight and connected. Find a minimum weight spanning tree. This is not positive. So if some people say if could, could can we have negative? We say you no know, in the algorithm not so strict on that and in general, but some specific algorithm emphasize that. So let's just you know, make it as general as you no know, as strict as it can. Find a Find a minimum weight spanning tree. First, we have to find the spanning tree. Second, we have to find minimum weight spanning tree. Give a graph, we could have many spanning trees, right? For example, we cover all the vertices. This is one. And we could also have another one. We could have this one, right? Then we could have this one. Then this one, right? It could have many different you know, spanning trees, but we would like to find it is the the total weight in the tree, spanning tree, the total weight is the smallest one. For example, this is you no know, find the minimum spanning tree, the cost is 50. And they have very wide applications. MST of minimum spanning tree of bicycle routers in Los Seattle, right? Because it's very beautiful. Minimum strength 
minimum spanning tree of random graph. Minimum spanning tree describes arrangement of nuclear in the epithelium for cancer research. Minimum spanning tree D3 have wide applications for cluster analysis, real-time phase verification, find road works, network design, approximation algorithm for MP hard problem, reduce data storage. It do have many wide applications. Usually the solution, since this is the optimization, when we want to find the smallest total weight of a spanning tree, right? And such that we talk about dynamic programming and a greedy algorithm. And in this problem, they have a very beautiful structure there. Let's see what is that structure. Can we use a greedy algorithm? Yes or no, right? So let's see, give a graph. G is connected. Edge weights are distinct, right? Now, actually, later we will tell, even if it's not distinct, this method, this algorithm still works. Consequence, minimum spanning tree exists and is unique. If the edge weights are different, if edge weights are the, you know, some you know, edge weights duplicates, in that case, you know, um, may not be unique, but the lumbo, the total weight should be unique. Okay. Mm, to prove that, to see this beautiful property here, let's first define some definite no, term. A cut in a graph is a partition of all the vertices into two sets, two long empty connections. A cross edge connects a vortex in one connection with a vortex in the other. Cut property give any cut the cross edge of minimum weight is in the minimum spanning tree. This is what we talk about the beautiful property. One of the beautiful property. So the cut corresponding to just like we talk about a split, right? In the um, sequence of numbers. So here cut is a connection of edges. For example, this is one cut. All the edges between the vertices in the this part and this part. And cut separate all the vertices in the two parts. Two parts. They are isolated two parts. We if we cut this one out, if we totally delete these edges, then they are these two parts will be isolated. So this cuts just like a bridge is connect all these two parts, right? And then so we see the cross edge, cross edge corresponding to one edge connect a vertex in the left in this in the this part with the this part, the left part, right? Uh, one cross edge. We see the minimum spanning tree. We see that the cross edge of minimum weight definitely should be in the minimum spanning tree. This makes sense, right? If this is smallest one, not in the not, not in the this minimum spanning tree, it means they are not connected. I'm sorry. So if this let's go to the next we see the if the smallest, if this edge with the smallest weight, if it's not in the minimum spanning tree, then definitely we can connect that, right? If we connect that, then in that case, it calls cycle because we say the not, this not two isolated parts, they should connect it. They should have some edge, cross edge, which is not what we talk about minimum weight cross edge. In some, some other edge has been included in this minimum spanning tree. If we you now add this weight, this edge with minimum weight, in that case it causes a cycle. So we wanted to remove the previous edge and add this one. Now we see there's a problem because now what we the what we have the minimum weight even smaller than what we claimed 
total weight of the minimum spanning tree, right? In that case, not a good idea. So this is the same as what we talk about, right? So give any cut cross edge of minimum weight is in the minimum spanning tree. Suppose minimum weight cross edge E is not in the minimum spanning tree. This one connect this part and this part, right? This is a bridge in the minimum spanning tree. Now we see this guy, this E even smaller than F. And since it's smaller than F, we want to replace F with this E. And then after we replace that, the total weight of the new minimum spanning tree smaller than the old minimum spanning tree. Then in that case, we see it's not possible. How you can claim what you find is the smallest spanning tree, right? And so grading minimum spanning tree corresponding to, we would like to find out the cross edge of a smallest weight and an all this cross edge, smallest weight cross edge, has been connected. What corresponding to corresponding to? First, we need to find the spanning tree. And we want to find the minimum spanning tree, right? And this tree should have, you know, starting from something, some maybe one root. We wanted to expand the tree. And at the same time, we expand the tree, we wanted to add the minimum weight cross edge. Right? It's clear. We want to find the minimum spanning tree. Let's assume we start from this weight. The total weight is zero, right? Total weight is zero. And the you no know, the empty minimum spanning tree. We want to expand this minimum spanning tree. Every time we want to add it is the smallest weight cross edge. So they have different they have two methods who can do that. We want to expand this tree by adding the one specific vertex which connect with the new the previous you know, minimum spanning tree and such as this cross edge connect with one vertex in the previous tree with this new vertex and it is the minimum weight cross edge this is one way second way it is with okay let's just say we pick up we you know expand the minimum spanning tree by just add the Edges. As we, we can you know expand this spanning tree based on what we pick up. The it could be multiple different spanning trees, but we, we want to ex, you know, expand it in the way every time the new edge has been added, it will connect the previous the once minimum spanning tree, spanning the minimum spanning trees. You want to connect them and finally you cover everything, right? This was some idea. And so now let's take a look at the greedy minimum spanning tree algorithm demo. You may find out this solution maybe in the same to one of the algorithm we'll talk about later. Start with all the edges colored gray. Find the cut with no black cross edges. Color is minimum weight edge black. Repeat until n minus one edges are colored black. We should give you give us n node graph. The spanning tree should cover every vertex. Since there's no cycle, we see the total edges should be v minus one, n minus one, right? So this reason repeat until v minus one edges. Initially, all this is gray. Another question it is, well, you def well, the first cut, well, it's the second cut. How do you define that? So you can see this is one cut. If you starting from the vortex, and this is one one cut, right? This two cut separate this vortex with all the another one, and then you find something, and you treat them together as one tree, and you see all the you no. Know, what you know other vertices how it connect with this one so this is another cut right then you grow you grow your spanning tree in the way 
You grow your spiny tree in, a, in, a, in this graph. You choose something and grow the spiny tree based on the adjacent vertices. Choose the smallest one to spread out. This is one way. Another way we will also talk about. Okay, so now let's take a look at this one. Starting with, you can see here, this is a, if we use it to say, okay, this is where what, you know, this part is where what it explored. Then you have you know, a spiny tree here, and then this is a cross edge. From the cross edge, all this cross edge, you want to find the smallest one. And consider it is. So you may find out once you grow your spiny tree, and in that way, you have a new edges has been added there. And sometimes you have to remove edge because you know it may you know if you put it there, it may cause some you know cycle, right? So in such case, it is we have to when we grow our spiny tree, when we grow our minimum spiny tree. We have to maintain how many edges is connected with this spiny tree, right? So this reason we we will use special. So you can see here, right? We choose this one, and then this could be another. If you say okay, let's focus on file. You have another cut, right? And then you have this one. Have another cut. Face on this one, you have another cut. So if you say I would like to randomly pick up the pick up the nodes and uh, find the smallest minimum weight cut and connect with them and you can try it a mass and a mass one time until every vortex is connected in this way you just grade it away right you want to you know find the minimum with cross edge connect the vortices until all these vortices connected. Any edge colored black is in the minimum span tree. This is proof the greedy algorithm computed the minimum span tree. Any edge connected black is in the minimum span tree. Field and V minus one black edges cut with no black cross edges. Consider cut whose vortices are only one connected components. Right? So it means every time when you, you know make this decision which cut you want to work on, you think about how to connect any you know, um, connect different components. First in the beginning here, every vortex it is a single component. And based on the what you selected the uh, vortex, right? You selected the cut, you connect with them. So this is just a general the idea about the greedy minimum spiny tree algorithm. And some question it is how can you choose cut? How how do you choose cut? How do you how can you find the minimum weight edges, right? So they have two methods. If the Edge weights are not all different. You no, know, can greedy minimum spinach algorithm correct? We say yes. If equal weights are present, our correctness proof or the what we have the correctness you no know, proof maybe not so perfect, but that can be fixed. For example, here, you no, know, they have four vortex, four edges. They have two vortex at the same weight. In this case, we choose one, two, three, three, two, four. One to four, right? One to one to two. What if graph is not connected? If graph is not connected, in that case, it is we can find the minimum spiny tree for each component. This is the you no. Know, this algorithm definitely it could be 
it could it could work. And we see that the greedy regression, this greedy technique, really help. And um, some peer students, since we do not have the assignment on that, so some students may say how to implement that, how to implement the graph structure. So we can define the edge class, and which include the, to simplify that, we use the integer for the you know, vertex. And uh, you, know, you can create an edge class, and edge class connect with two, two um, vertices. Right to remember that, and then, you know, and then since we need to use the IG weight comparison, so we have to implement. We have to implement compare to method, and this is an you know, adjacent list representation of the one of the example graph, and so we say you, know, you can treat all these edges connect with specific vertex as in the bag. And this is the corresponding to different vertex, and this correspond each back here corresponding to adjacent edges linked with specific vertex. Edge weighted graph. In this class, we have constructor, and we also have you know since edge the Edge weighted graph. This graph is a container. We have the you you know have the method to add edges, and also have the method you know to get adjacent edges connect to all the edges adjacent to vertex V, and it's based on the previous is adjacent list. So this is easy to implement. And how to represent the minimum spanning tree, minimum spanning tree constructor with edge weighted graph as input. And we wanted to return all the final edges in the spanning tree. We want to make sure the total weight is the smallest. And this is one of the example. Now let's take a look at this quiz question. If we build a MCST from minimal cut spanning tree from a graph GVE. How many edges does the minimum cut spanning tree have? It's corresponding to minimum MC. Minimum, let's see, we erase that. Minimum cut spanning tree. Sometimes we just ignore that spanning tree. Okay. We said no. This should be V minus one. When can we find a minimum cut spanning tree for a graph? And we see this graph should have weight, right? If there's no weight, can we do that? Minimum spanning tree. In that case, you can find this, you know, spanning tree. Use the, use the BFS or DFS, right? But you know, um, it's hard to claim that is a. You can find the earth spanning tree, and you can treat this urban spanning tree as the minimum more. But you know, usually the mm -hmm, should have a weight, right? At least have a weight, or else it make no difference. Okay, there are different applications electronic circuit and. Uh, um, Planning how to let's just say, you know, um, this is the application. Planning how to lay the network label to connect the safety location to the internet. Planning how to efficiently you know, bounce data from router to router to reach its internet destination. Create a two D maze, and for example, right? How can you create a maze? So we say to create the maze. You you can you know, what you can do it is. In, um, the maze here, this is corresponding to, uh, this could be corresponding to the spanning tree, right? Spanning tree structure. You could have multiple this kind of spanning tree, for example, right? 
Okay, so now I would like to emphasize two famous, two famous algorithm. First one, Prim's algorithm. Another one, Kruska. And the you know, Prim's algorithm start with vertex zero, greedily, greedily growth tree. So it's used the vertex as the starting point. You can add any vertex only. And you want to grow because you know this vertex at least should be included in the minimum spanning tree. So people say, okay, let's choose one and then we grow the spanning tree based on the edges adjusted to the this vertex or this vertex in the in the current minimum spanning tree, right? You grow the news with add more more you know, vertex until you add minus one vertex. So this algorithm is not, not you know, so difficult, especially the the shoot code here. And what question it is, how can you quickly find the smallest weight you know, cut, right? Cross edge. So let's take a look at this one. Let's use you know, zero, start from zero, and uh, and from here you can find Take a look the old adjacent edges. Take a look the weight on them, and you see zero seven, which it is the minimum weight cross edge. Now you have a zero seven included in this growth tree. Now you want to grow it even more. Readily grow that by adding smallest weight cross edge. So once you have this one, in that case. In that case, you grow the more edges, right? Because you have some new edges connect with seven. And then you, you want to grow this connection. Then from this connection, you want to find the smallest guy. And then you follow this procedure to grow to find all the connected you know, um, vortex, you know, connected you know, and other vortex with what you have this, you know, this growth tree. And from here, you want to find the smallest one. So you have two included. And then once you have two included, you may find out you know, some edges already included in the what you have this connection you have to remove out, right? Or else you know you don't want to reuse that. You want to make you don't want to make a cycle, right? This one you don't want to include it in the in the cut. It's not in the cut, right? Because it's two, you can see here. And you see. You know, from here, once you add the zero to here, we see this no, this you need to create a new cut. This new cut should not include the edges we you know that could uh, cut the cycle. This one could cycle, cycle, this one could cycle. So we want to remove this two. So you have uh, another cut. This is the right one, is the cut. From this all oh, this uh, you know cross edge in the cut, find the smallest one. And then you know, follow the same way, you increase, and then you find this one, right? So then you, you know, for the same procedure until you add every you know, um, vertex. So now the question is to take a look at the shooter code. Pick arbitrary load R from V, add R to T, T corresponding what you have the new spanning tree, and it means you grow that, you add the first nodes. And then when well T contains smaller than V nodes corresponding to this is not V minus one, right? This minimum spanning tree still have space to grow. And find the minimum weight edge U V, well U belong to T and V node belong to T. How can you find this minimum weight? Right? Add this load V to the T. So you no, know, why should we store in the you no? Know, now the question it is, since we have to use the minimum one, we have to find the minimum weight. And this is you know that's what we talk about when the, the in the process of growing this tree, this dynamic connection of adjusting the edges, this cut should should be changed. So this reason we have to use the priority queue. And you no know, go we need to list all the in this priority queue, in the include edges and the which connect vortex in T with the vortex not in T. What should we use as the key of the edge? 
this is uh, the weight of the edge. And now let's take a look at the, the let's take a look with the details which included the priority queue. In the beginning, we initialize priority queue and set up for each vertex in the tree is false, parent is, is, is long. And then we since we choose arbitrary load, so it's in the tree element should be true parent r should be should be r right you see it should be true at every edge that touches r to q right so if q is not empty and use q extract mean to get edge you get the smallest one if not in tree if the is v is not in tree then Sign, sign this one to be true, sign the parent to you at every edge that touches V to Q. So here we mention this one, right? You need to check if it's not in V. This definitely works. And uh, no, we can change this one a little bit, you know, because, you know, if the parent if parent, you know, parent is still long, that case means not in the tree, right? You just want to say you want to add something, which is uh, an uh, no, when you grow the tree, you want to make sure you add the load, which is not in the tree. If you're already in the tree, you, you make the cycle, right? Definitely don't want to do that. Okay, let's take a look at the runtime. In the you know, initialization part, it need to have uh, theta v, right? And uh, in the this part, the add the arbitrary node. In that case, we need an adjacent R log E because you know this is the priority queue. When you add each uh, specific uh, edge, you don't have to readjust that and we use uh, we consider that. Then we consider in the while loop and uh, um, to extract the minimum mode, take theta log E and if you no know, check if this vertex you know not in the tree since we use a specific array to do that and it's easy to check with constant time and in this if body here it may take uh, o theta of adjacent v log e time right the reason it is you we you know same as before you added up to load and now you added the load which is not in the tree and since in this well loop and the idea here we will grow this tree we cover all the edges and from the old edges we select the smallest width cross edges connect with m minus one is v minus one cross minimum width cross edges and as such that in the you know, aggregate that we have theta e log e and you no know, um, add all it will take um, v it should be v or e, right? v plus e log e. And this is the algorithm for prime algorithm. Agor uh, this is the code for prime algorithm. Here we use the um, q, priority q, priority q. And you save your tree. This tree has been maintained in through throughout through this array. We use the array, the element in the array to point to point to who is who is parent and through its parent. You can list all the edges. Okay, so this part is for edge compared to
you can define the different compared method to see in different criteria to decide what is the minimum weight. So that's fine. And this is the world example. Um, I will post this code in the website and such that if you are interested, you can go to the canvas and uh, take a close look. This is give the string structure, give the string, and uh, from the string, from what you have this string, you add the each edges and make Make a graph, right? This make a graph, you know, and then you you have the prime algorithm to get the get the parent parent array, and then through this parent array, you want to display who is connected with, who is uh, which specific. Uh, parents, right? So here i is the i is the i is adjacent to the content. So it means this is the parent of these nodes. Right? That makes sense. Mm -hmm. This is the parent of these nodes. And then if that is not long, that is this root, right? Okay. In that case, this one, if it is, it is the equal number, this root, and this is root, and this is the parent. So six connect the seven, and the three is a six connect the seven, seven connect the three, and the three connect two, right? Three is parent of two, and the zero is a parent of two. 2 is the parent of 0 and um, what else? Why? 4 is the parent of 1 is parent of 8 8 is parent of a line so this one we consider this one this one and now 4 file is parent of file is parent of 4 right and uh, 2 is parent of 5 right so you can see here this one and 3 7 is a parent of 3 this one also consider. In this case, we build the. This is the tree structure. Okay, record root its own parent. Okay, very nice. So this is the results of the minimum spanning tree, and you can take a look to see. In, um, you can use this uh, prime algorithm maze build no maze building, could build a um, maze. How can we use the prime algorithm to? Generate 2D maze. First, to create a graph which is regular m times n grid and set all the edge widths to random values and run the primes algorithm starting from any nodes. Then, this could be the results. You see the random, random uh, 2D maze. You can use this way. Now they have another in the second uh, greedy minimum spanning tree algorithm. Its name is a Kurska. The idea of this Kurska algorithm is to grow the tree by connect the different and connect the components. So consider it's corresponding to you grow the tree from the edges perspective. Consider edges in ascending order of the weight, right? So you sort them. 
and add the next edge to the tricky unless doing so could create a cycle. So for example, you select 0, 7, and then you second select next one, 2, 3. In this case, you, you know, connect different uh, isolated components, make the connected one, and then still you ground that. Since every time you check that the cycle, not the cycle, you make sure what you selected the edges, which it is definitely make the minimize, make the minimize the, the tree, right? And there's no cycle. You select as many smallest edge as you can, and and in that this is also one of the way is from the cross cut. That's it.